Welcome to another edition of Standard & Poor's Latin America Monday Morning Roundup. I'm Bruno Ferreira, your host, and I'm pleased to present you our weekly research highlights for the region. We upgraded our ratings on four Argentine and local and regional governments to B-, following the sovereign upgrade of Argentina. Although the weak domestic economy and political polarization have taken a toll on these Argentine governments, they have continued to meet all of their debt obligations since the sovereign defaulted on its foreign currency debt in July 2014. The outlook is stable. Following these rating actions, we raised our ratings on four Argentinian banks to B-, the upgrade mirrors the sovereign's higher local currency ratings, stemming from the government's recent steps to address some of the substantial economic imbalances prevailing in Argentina. The outlook is stable. We lowered our ratings on Chile-based mining company Codelco to A+. The downgrade reflects our expectation that the company will post weaker cash flow leverage metrics in the next two years, in light of sinking copper prices and declining ore grades of its mineral base. The outlook is stable. We placed Brazil-based airline Golinha Aéreas Inteligentes on Credit Watch negative due to weak market conditions. The Credit Watch placement reflects a possible downgrade in the next 90 days if profitability and cash flow don't improve, which would result in a continued cash burn and depleted liquidity. Finally, we revised our outlook on Chile-based wood panel producer Massissa to stable and affirmed the B plus rating. The outlook revision follows the company's announcement of its cash tender offer, which managed to reduce its debt and improve its liquidity. This was another segment of our Lady American News. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next week.